now also in Abu Dhabi tonight, Lawai Al Sharif, peace activist and expert in Arab-Israeli relations, is with us now. Uh, so, uh, Lawai, we, we just heard a bit about what's going on, and, and this is all about preparing uh, for the next round uh, of talks, which will take place in Morocco sometime in in early March. Um, what kind of joint projects do you think uh, we should be watching here? Good evening, Laura. Uh, the joint projects that will be discussed are actually most of it economical projects. Also, uh, the, the the challenge that we have on climate, security, education, lots of joint projects that are discussed in the summit. Um, or um, I just want to tell you in the forum, I just want to tell you one thing, Laura. The forum started a year ago. It was launched by the Biden administration. As a, as a good gesture for supporting the Abraham Accords and making Israel normalize with its neighbors. Um, and of course, this summit or this forum uh, is just a prelude to what's happening in March. But I just want to tell you one thing, Laura, Egypt and the U.S. tried to convince the Palestinians to participate in this forum. Um, but the, the, the Palestinians did not, uh, unfortunately, participate. Uh, so, uh, uh, and the plan was to discuss what can be done to the Palestinians to boost their economy and to make their well-being even, even better. Does Israel also want the Palestinians brought on board? I think it's it's for the sake of Israel that the the well-being of the Palestinians is is actually improved, and um, I don't really know <laughs> regarding your question. I don't really know if Israel wants that or does not, but I believe it's in Israel's good uh, um, right. uh, good interest. Okay, well. Um... I mean, we've talked about some of these projects that are going on. How does that contrast, though, with what's going on at the government level? Because we know Benjamin Netanyahu was also supposed to be in the UAE this week. The, the postponing of the visit of Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel, is merely it's just about logistics. That's what uh, what is being said um, in public. Um, I don't think it's related to anything else. Even though I would I would understand that the visit to the uh, Temple Mount or Al Aqsa Mosque could have its consequences um, um, if, if the visit really happened. But I just want to say one thing, Laura. Yes, true, there are few tensions here and there. I'll be very honest with you. But the overall picture is very promising. The forum, the NEGA forum, is um, set to be an ongoing forum. It's not only for this year. It will be ongoing for the years to, for, for years to come. And it will integrate Israel more and more in the region. And I believe that many countries that are not even part of the Abraham Accords now will participate in the coming uh, forum in March or next year. Well, you mentioned the U.S., um, uh, which is also uh, a center delegation. Um, what does this tell us about the Biden administration's commitment to moving forward with the Abraham Accords? Because some critics say that they are kind of lukewarm on them. Well, it tells us much and not much. Much because this forum was initiated by the Biden administration. The NEGA forum was launched by the Biden administration. Um, uh, in Israel last year, and it, it shows that the Biden administration supports the Abraham Accords, but at the same time, it's not that much of support that lots of people in the region would expect from the U.S. administration. Um, not like the, the support that for the Abraham Accords that was happening when when uh, when Trump was was president. So we see the Abraham Accords are moving slowly. They are moving, but slowly. Uh, but, of course, uh, that shows that the Biden administration supports the integration of Israel in the region. And as I told you, Laura, I just want to emphasize on this, that the U.S. and Egypt tried to convince uh, other parties to participate, yeah. but some... So, not. yes, and I just want to pick you up on that because um, Jordan, of course, the U.S. said that they regret that Jordan um, is not taking part. What do they think about that in the UAE? We know King Abdullah was, was, uh, was in the UAE only recently. I don't think it's received negatively because I mean we know that the Jordan is busy with the domestic turmoils that are happening right now. So maybe because Jordan is busy with some domestic affairs, it uh, it hindered them from participating in this. But it was not received negatively. All right, Loai, thank you. Always a pleasure, Loai Al Sharif, there in Abu Dhabi. Thank you so much, Laura.